Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel Ocean of Dentistry. Today we are going to discuss the first knob block that is posterior superior alveolar knob block. See before discussing the posterior superior alveolar knob block you must know the basic anatomy of the trigeminal nerve and the mainly the maxillary nerve division of the trigeminal nerve. What are the areas that are supplied by the posterior superior alveolar nerve and what are the maxillary landmarks and the mandibular landmarks you must know. So before going to the full discussion of posterior superior alveolar nerve block, I just remind you where are the areas the posterior superior alveolar nerve block supplies. The posterior superior alveolar nerve block after coming from the pterygomandibular fossa it supplies the first the all the posterior molars and the gingiva and the alveolus of that area so now come to the main topic that is posterior superior alveolar nerve block okay see this posterior superior alveolar nerve block as i have already told you it is a branch of maxillary division okay it supplies the molars the other name is tuberosity block or the zygomatic block why we call it a tuberosity block or the zygomatic block because the point of insertion of the needle is on the zygomatic portion okay so it will be discussed with you during the time i will discuss the techniques of posterior superior alveolar nerve block <clears throat> So what are the area and what are the nerve that is to be anesthetized? The area that is to be anesthetized or the nerve that is to be anesthetized is the posterior nerve branch, PSA nerve branch, posterior superior alveolar nerve branch of the maxillary. See, one thing is written in the melamed and the monhems that it, the posterior superior alveolar nerve block supplies all the molars but only 72% cases are there in which the mesiobuccal root of the maxillary first molar is anesthetized. What I want to say that the maxillary first molar has root mesiobuccal root and that mesiobuccal root only 72% times cases is there in which it is anesthetized when we give PSA knob block. In rest 28% case, we need to give MSA or the ASA. MSA is middle superior alveolar nerve block and the ASA is anterior superior alveolar nerve block. Now the indication. What are the cases in which you will give posterior superior alveolar nerve block? See, a common layman language may sum jo, to dekha jai, to jabbi hame molar extraction karna hai, when we are required to extract the molar, all the three molars of the maxilla and when the supraperiosteal nerve block is contraindicated. Then you must know what is supraperiosteal nerve block. Supraperiosteal nerve block is a common infiltration nerve block in which we inject the needle above the periosteum and in the case apex of the root in a common term. Contraindication. Where are the cases we are not going to inject this needle and we are not going to give this block. This is the nerve block in the case of hemorrhage where excess bleeding is there. In case of acute inflammation and infection and patient is hemophilic and patient is on some drug like comedine and clopidogrel. These drugs, taking these drugs and we will not be giving this nerve block in those patients. So history taking is very important and medical history of the patient is very important while you are going to have oral surgery and exodontia. Okay. So advantage. What is the advantage of this nerve block? You must know the advantage is that this nerve block is very a traumatic procedure and it is a it is high success rate. Approximately the success rate is 95%. Okay. 95 to 97% success rate is there and <clears throat> the minimum necessary amount of volume of injection is required. 
the volume of injection that is required is approximately 0 0.9 to 1.8 ml okay so advantage and disadvantage of this nub block that disadvantage of this nub block is the serious risk of hematoma when we will discuss the technique i will tell you how the hematoma can occur arbitrary technique and one very important thing is there is no bony landmarks is there we just insert the needle in the mucobuccal fold <clears throat> aspiration why we do the aspiration aspiration is very important if we are contacting a vessel two plane aspiration is there two plane aspiration why we do first inject after injecting the needle we just aspirate then completely rotate the needle at 180 degree and then aspirate because if the vessel wall is there the aspiration false negative can be there so after rotating in second plane it can be positive and that time we need to just take out the needle from that side and just have press there and the patient we, I, we will tell the patient that we will do the exodontia after some days because it will take some time to heal this is not a right block okay then technique see before going to technique we need to know what are the armentarium and what are the things that you should know posterior superior alveolar nerve block you are going to give so for this where are the area you are going to inject the needle you are going to inject the needle in a target area that is mucobuccal fold above the maxillary second molar okay see in the diagram above the maxillary second molar so the landmark will be when you are inserting the needle the needle should lie mucobuccal fold first landmark then you will enter zygomatic process okay then the tuberosity of zygoma then you will go to the infratemporal surface of the maxilla then the anterior anterior border of ramus of mandible and then you will go the maxillary tuberosity and this all will complete the zygomatic nerve block okay so what are the landmarks must remember it is mainly asking the question why va? and PSA nerve block also comes as a short note so landmark is first mucobuccal fold zygomatic process of maxilla infratemporal surface of maxilla in and the anterior border of ramus of mandible and also most important thing is the mucobuccal fold above the maxillary second molar the orientation of bevel the orientation of bevel after inserting it should be toward the bone aspirate in two plane one time false negative one time false negative i have already discussed now the technique see for the technique we should know we take a 27 gauge needle and that needle is approximately the short needle okay after taking the short needle we should palpate the area okay <clears throat> how you will palpate take the the patient should be on the dental chair lying supine his mouth should be opened a technique bata raha to dekho dhyan se chhe. patient should lie on the dental chair with mouth open 45 degree to the floor okay making angle 45 degree to the floor you are going to give maxillary landmarks or sorry maxillary block so the patient position of the dental chair should be approximately 8 16 centimeter 8 inches below your elbow okay so this is very important then after this all thing if you are a right handed administrator you should be and you are going to give the left handed left uh, posterior superior knob block then you should be at 10 o'clock position then if you are giving right PSA knob block you should be at 8 o'clock position मतलब पेशेंट के सामने से जाकर क्या पेल्पेट करके दोगे ओके देन कमिंग टू द हाउ यू विल नो वेयर यू हैव टू इंसर्ट द नीडल फर्स्ट टेक द लेफ्ट हैंड फोर फिंगर कीप इन द बाइकस्पिड रीजन पोस्टीरियरली मूव बैकवर्ड इंटर द जाइगोमेटिक प्रोसेस ऑफ मैक्सिला 
which is, will lie just above the maxillary second molar. After entering, just rotate your finger. I am not keeping my finger inside the mouth, but in the patient mouth you will keep like this. Then rotate the finger, keeping the bulbous portion of your finger on the zygomatic process of maxilla lower down and now lower down your finger such that it should be monium stills, it should be perpendicular to the occlusal plane of maxilla. Then make an angle 45 degree, your index finger will point out the direction of needle to be inserted, then tot the cheek and you will find penetrating the buccinator, you will find that <coughs> that your needle is inserted at the right direction and now insert the needle in a pain grasp method. ये तो हमने बताया आपको एक proper position. अब आपको मैं बताऊँ एक common simple सा technique that is just maxillary second molar के ऊपर ले जाकर के injection को आपको penetrate कर देना है in the mucobuccal fold ये हो the maxillary second molar. अब एक चीज़ important है. When you are injecting the needle you must know where the needle you have inserted. Okay. The needle should be posteriorly, the boundaries where the needle has been inserted, it should be superiorly, posteriorly and inwardly at an angle 45 degree. First thing. Okay. Then you must know the boundaries. The posterior side of the needle will have the, the posterior surface of maxilla. Anteriorly, it will have pterygoid plexus of the vein. Then anterior and lateral, it will have the anterior and lateral surface of external surface of pterygoid muscle. So this will be the boundary where the needle has been inserted. Then you should know, so after advancing the needle, once you have advanced the needle in the posteriorly upward, okay, backward, take this as a needle, posteriorly upward, backward, inwardly, this is this will be your needle point insertion 45 degree making angle okay now what are the cases if the needle is too much anteriorly and i have just told you what are the boundaries there if the needle is too much anteriorly what will happen if the needle is too much anteriorly it will just hit the bone it will just hit the bone and then it will hit the pterygoid plexus of vein and there will be a chance of hematoma there. So, to avoid the chance of hematoma, hematoma ko avoid karna hai aapko, then you have to know if it is too much far posteriorly, it will also do the problem that there will be bone will not be filled and uh, that there will be syringe barrel will move backwardly. This, these all cases are already discussed. Then, after entering the right position, where you are going, how much amount you will inject there, that will 0 0.9 to 1.8 ml. Okay, I have already written like this, like 1.8 ml and uh, see, this is the area where the, this is the area where the PSA nerve block is supplying. See, this is the area up to the mesiobuccal root. Along with the PSA, you must give the patient greater palatine nerve block. In the next video, I will discuss with you the greater palatine nerve block. So, this is the time you have this. I have discussed with you all the details of the PSA nerve block. And then, one thing I have left for you is the cases. What are the signs and symptoms that uh, how you will know that uh, the nerve block is uh, over? So, just take the periosteal elevator, try to penetrate here. If the patient tells yes, there is some pain, means the nerve block is not proper. Then there is also, this is called objective sign and symptom. Then objective, sorry, subjective sign and symptom. You have to go for objective sign and symptom. EPT, AT by AT should be there, electric pulse testing, etc. So these all are the cases uh, you should know. Then the precaution should be there. You have to take all the sterilization precaution. Uh, take the precaution like the patient should not go into the syncope if the, you have found that uh, due to the anxiety or stress the patient is in syncope just elevate his leg and uh, make the patient in a supine position this should be done here, here and then failure of anesthesia what are the chances of failures of anesthesia the anesthesia can fail because the needle has been too laterally okay 
If the needle is too laterally or the needle is at a too high contact point or needle, needle is too much anteriorly, then the pro proper knob will not be blocked. And then complication of hematoma. If there is complication of hematoma is there because you have reached the required plexus of vein, so this will cause a very serious problem. Okay, then uh, visual extraoral uh, signs and symptoms will be there. So this was all about the uh, cases of uh, what you can tell the posterior superior alveolar nerve block. एक बार टेक्निक अच्छे से हिंदी में मैं समझा देता हूं हिंदी में क्या समझोगे देखो 27 गेज का नीडल लेना है ठीक है एट दी हाइट ऑफ म्यूको बकल फोल्ड यू हैव टू इंसर्ट द नीडल ओके ओवर द टारगेट एरिया पोस्टीरियर एंड मीडियल पोस्टीरियर मीडियल एंड सुपीरियरली अपवर्ड इनवर्ड एंड बैकवर्डली एट एन एंगल 45 डिग्री इंसर्ट द नीडल एंड गिव द नर्व ब्लॉक ठीक है एक कॉमन टर्म में तो ये बोलूंगा मैं राहु पीएसए नर्व ब्लॉक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट नॉ ब्लॉक है शॉर्ट नोट आता है इस पर तो आप इसको अच्छे से तैयार कर लीजिए कोई भी डाउट होगा आप यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी ऑन टेलीग्राम लिंक इज की वेन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड फॉर दैट यू कैन फॉलो अस एट आवर पेज इंस्टाग्राम दैट इज ओशियन ऑफ डेंटिस्ट्री एंड प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल ओशियन ऑफ डेंटिस्ट्री फॉर दिस टाइम थैंक यू डेट सॉल्व फॉर टूडे इफ देर इज एनी डाउट इन द लेक्चर यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप ऑल्सो Link given in description. Okay, thank you. That's all for today.